Hi everyone, welcome to Nourish Technologies. This is Srinivas. Right in the last session, we discussed the introduction part of a storage classes in C language. So now in this session, we'll see so what are the types of storage classes, right, and how to work with the storage classes, right? See here, so we have four storage classes. So one is a automatic storage classes. Second one is a resistor storage classes. Third one is a static storage classes. Fourth one is a external storage classes. These are four types of storage classes. Four types of storage classes. Right. So, what are automatic storage classes, resistor storage classes, static and external? So, what is the advantage of a storage class? Generally, in the declaration of every variable, why we have to write it is a storage class means it will represent every storage class. Right? Storage class represents so where it gets memory allocation variable generally. Where variable gets memory location. Next one, what is the default value and what is the scope of the variable and what is the lifetime of the variable? Only these four things it will describe. Where a variable get memory allocation. Next, default value, scope and lifetime these four things a storage class will describe every storage class describes only these three the mean these things about a variable now we will see one by one automatic storage classes right so what is the memory allocation where it gets memory allocation auto variable default values scope where we can access where we can declare and all see first one automatic storage classes automatic storage classes means suppose in the declaration of every variable nothing but a local variable if you are not specifying any storage class by default it is an auto storage class here we need to use keyword is auto so where it gets a memory allocation memory allocation is inside the ram next one what is the default value of automatic storage class. What is the default value of auto storage class is a garbage value and what is the lifetime, lifetime and scope. Auto variables means always a local variables declaration either inside block or method nothing but auto variables always local variables only you cannot declare globally how to declare means with the help of keyword nothing but storage class auto sir suppose if you are not writing by default variable is of type auto type sir where we can access can be accessed only within the block or method in which it has defined in which block the variable has declared or defined in that block or in that method only you can access sir lifetime until the block execution completes once all the instructions of the block or all the instructions of method execution has been completed then the local variable will be deleted because auto variable is a local variable okay see how to write the program simple program see the program of auto variables in the main so you can declare blocks also suppose here it is one auto variable auto int a equals to 10 i am declaring next we are writing block inside the block i am declaring variable auto int a and here it is we are printing that a value a value we are printing here and next here we are printing printf a value we are printing right here it is 
here this auto variable is having block scope because within the block we declared. So, within the block only you can access it has a block scope and next uh, second one this one is a uh, having method scope or function scope because we declared inside the method method sir can we declare an auto variable globally means here you will get error message auto int a here it is error is not allowed here auto variables always local variables inside the method or inside the block only you can declare and here it is. Now, here a values are 10 once the control move inside inside a value here it is initializes with a garbage value here also first it is initialized with a garbage value but that garbage value is again replaced with the value 10 now a value is a 10 but here it is a value is a garbage value only so here whenever you are printing a value so a value here is a garbage value it will print a garbage value and once this block execution is over once the control come out of that this local variable is available only here within the block but once the control come out of that here whenever we are trying to access a here it is accessing this method scope variable so here it will print the value 10 so output is a garbage value and next one is a 10 okay so this is a simple example about auto variables next resistor variables so what are the resistor variables a small difference between auto variables and resistor variables c second one is a resistor variables resistor variables see only one difference between auto variables and resistor variables the keyword in place of auto of course we will write a resistor keyword all are in a small case resistor and here it is memory allocation is very very important so memory means inside cpu resistors a memory will be allocated for resistor variables memory will be allocated inside cpu resistors sir what is the difference resistor variables also local variables you cannot declare resistor variables globally always local variables reasons i'll explain and what is the default value default value is a garbage value only sir what is the difference resistor variables also local variables only then why we can go for resistor instead of auto variables means only this is very very important memory allocation for resistor variables inside the cpu resistors such type of variables we can access much faster than auto variables why means auto variables get memory allocation inside the ram inside the ram memory but resistors memory allocation inside the process space nothing but inside the resistors only sir where we use exactly means in your application if you want to use any variable repeatedly if you want to use any variable repeatedly like loop counters loops in that case we should go for resistor type variable one best example i will show you to understand this clearly see here i am writing one program a program is a sum of first n numbers just consider void main void main sum of first n numbers we are declaring n some value 0 initially and i we are reading n value how to read printf and scanf enter n value and we are scanning and next with the help of loop i value starts with 1 2 i is less than or equals to n i plus plus we are adding to the sum i value we are adding this is the logic we know already and next finally we are printing that sum 
some we are printing a small program it represents sum of first n numbers this logic already we discussed in a control statements. So, why we have written means the difference suppose if you declare all these variables as auto variables. So, what is the problem and if you declare all these variables as a register variables so what are the advantages C. Generally in the application every application right processed with the help of processor only this is processor consider inside the processor one area is there the area is a resistors area generally so people thinking that uh, programs will be executed inside the ram memory generally applications we will store permanently in the hard disk hard disk means what is a secondary storage device is a secondary memory and next ram we can call it as a primary memory secondary memory and primary memory now whenever you execute processor will fetch the information into the ram complete program it will fetch into the ram because ram size is very high 1 GB, 2 GB, 4 GB, 8 GB, maybe file program file is 8 KB, 10 KB. It can collect and uh, it will allocate the memory for auto variables inside the RAM because auto variables memory allocation inside the RAM memory only. So, N gets memory allocation, I gets memory allocation, sum gets memory allocation, N values are 10 consider i value starts with a 1 some values are 0 now the program instructions will not execute will not be processed inside the ram from the ram instruction by instruction it will fetch into resistors how it will fetch means for example loop counter it will execute for loop i equals to 1 but where is that i value from the resistor the control switch to the RAM, it will check I value. Next with that value, the control come back. Next condition of for loop, I is less than or equals to N, but where is the N value? It should fetch, it will come back and it will add to sum. What is the sum value? So, like that, nothing but here data processing here, for loop processing here, but data storage here. So, that control switches for fetching the information, for processing the information, for storing the information, for updating the information. For all these things, the control should switch from one location to another location, RAM to resistor, resistor to RAM, like that it should go. For this switching, right, it will take a lot of time. Switching is a time taken process. So, instead of declaring all these variables inside the RAM as auto variables, it is better to declare all these variables as a register variables. So, data processing inside the registers and storing, accessing, fetching, updating everything inside the register only. So, here it is no need to switch from one location to another location, it will become very easy and very fast because here it is a time saving, here it is more time conserving, right? Here it is that we are saving here. That is why it is better to declare these variables as a register variables. Sir, in this situation, one question, sir, in this case, instead of declaring all the variables as auto variables, why cannot we declare as a register variable sir? Directly, you can remove the storage class auto storage class from the C language, only if you maintain register storage class, it is very happy. Every program executes faster, but here the problem is, register size is a very less, I think 8 KB to 16 KB. And this much memory is always used to evaluate the instructions, to execute the instructions, not to store the memory, I mean not to store the variables data. That is why these are not global. Global means what is a permanent variables. Local variables means what? Temporary variables. Once a method execution has been completed, 
method frame will be deleted along with the method automatically along with the method automatically local variable will be deleted. So, resistors memory will become free that is allocated to some other variable some other local resistor variable ok. And suppose if you declare all the variables as a resistor variables 8 KB memory or 16 KB memory occupied by variables storage only occupied by variables storage only that is another headache for us. If you store here it is in the entire memory if you store variables only there is no memory to execute the program instruction set then that is a fail. Only required variables like loop counters only mostly we are using in loops repeatedly used variable is better to declare it as a resistor instead of auto here if you write all these things as a resistor variables then program execution is bit faster than earlier one right. So, this is completely about a resistor storage classes what type of variables we should declare it as a resistor what type of variables we should declare it as a auto what is the lifetime where we can access where it gets memory allocation scope and all ok. So, this is all about uh, these two variables static variables explanation and external variables explanation we will see in the coming sessions ok. Thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to Naresh IT channel. Thank you.